So guys, I am chatting with Terea. She's from Autumn Hill, but she's getting ready to release her solo project. So how exciting is it to be releasing something solo? Oh my goodness. It's literally been my dream since I was like a little girl. This is probably the most thrilling thing that I've kind of embarked upon in my life. It's very exciting. So like everyone knows from when you were doing the Autumn Hill stuff, you have a very unique sound to your voice. But what can fans expect as a new sound with a solo project? Oh, that's a great question. Um, with Autumn Hill, I found a lot of the times Mike and I had like specific parts that we would kind of stick to in timing and melody lines that we would be very consistent with just to get that like really tight harmony and that distinct Autumn Hill sound. But for the new record, um, I was kind of able to be a little more free with the melody lines and let them kind of flow a little more inspired and and a little more inconsistently. So, um, yeah, it's just a little bit more of like a soulful, loose vibe to the, to the songs and to the album in general. So you said about an album. So does that mean one is coming and when can fans expect to hear it? Yeah, definitely. Um, right now I'm working on a full-length album to be released in September. Oh, perfect. So right around the time that we all are getting ready to go to CCMAs. Yeah. Um, so you are getting ready to release the debut single, Summer Wheels. It comes out next week, right? Yes, I'm so excited. How, do, how would you describe that song to fans? I think a lot are itching to hear it. So yeah, how would you describe song? it to them? It is, it's just like a, it's a fun song. It's like a cruising, like Thelma and Louise, just like girl behind the wheel, like girls weekend song. It's very, how would I describe it? This is fun. I haven't actually talked much about the single, so this is like, I'm kind of feeling my way through this question. But it's kind of like Sheryl Crow meets Cruise by Florida Georgia Line. It's, pull, I'm pulling influences from like Beach Boy harmonies, and there's some like, Beatles inspired drumming and it's just it's kind of an eclectic mix of influences and styles that just come together for this super fun like summer anthem that's extremely exciting yeah and so I'm assuming you don't want fans to send their speeding tickets to you right when they get them for listening to this song (laughs) please no I can barely afford to put out this record So for you, you said that this is all, it's an exciting time to be releasing um, your debut as a solo artist. How did music all start for you? That's a good question. It's kind of a strange question to answer too, because I feel like it's kind of my love for music started before I can really remember memories, you know, like it's just kind of something that you're born with. So um, I definitely remember in grade four, my parents got me a karaoke machine and instead of like singing the words that are supposed to go over the backing tracks I would write my own songs to the instrumentals and and then I started to learn to chord on the piano and accompany myself so I could write my own music and I just I've always just loved it I mean music was it like got me through high school it got me through junior high it was always like just always there you know and nobody else was you could turn to your favorite song so with that, I'm assuming you've got a lot of advice for up-and-coming artists. What is the number one piece of advice you would give them? Especially oh, the ones who are in high school such... right now. Number one advice. You know, that's a, you, also, you have great questions, by the way. I'm oh, really enjoying you. this interview. So awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would say there's so much, so much advice that I've received and that I'm like learning and that I really take to heart when I hear. But I would say the number one thing would just be be true to yourself. Like, find your sound. Don't try and... You can, you can imitate your idols to try and learn their style and learn new techniques, but really try to find what's unique about you and what you love and what your passion is because at the end, that's what's going to shine through and that's what's going to make your career enjoyable and healthy and sustainable for you because you're the one singing the songs over and over again. And, you know, if, if you can deliver them really emotionally and heartfeltly and honestly, other people will connect with that as well. Absolutely. That is amazing advice. Oh, thank you. That is amazing. So I've been ending the interviews lately with some fun questions to really help fans get to know the artist. Okay. Okay. So what is the last okay. full length album that you bought? Oh my gosh, that I bought. 
full length album that I bought. I'm like a singles girl. Like I'll buy singles. I've always been like that. But full length album. I'm gonna have to think about this for a sec. Probably actually, I didn't know what it was. It was Chris Stapleton. We were going on a road trip from New York to Calgary, so it's like 40 hours in a car, oh and we just had that on repeat for on repeat for like the whole way. It's a great album. It has it a great lot. album. Yeah, it is phenomenal. For yeah, you, Fireway is I think one of my favorite songs of all time. And that video for it is heartbreaking too. Oh my goodness, it is. It really is, and it's you know it's good for. Chris Stapleton too you know like that's such a prevalent topic right now people are starting to open up and really talk about it and to release a video to have that much exposure and shed that much light on such an important issue is just it was I really I really enjoyed that it was amazing yes so for you what is your number one guilty pleasure tv show (laughs) oh no oh this is a horrible question I have so many (laughs) um Guilty pleasure. Hmm, you know, I love, 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 love It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Like, I will fall asleep to that show every night. Interesting. Of it. I have never actually yeah. seen that one. It's, I mean, it's a bizarre show, but it's worth it if you can find the time to get into it. I, I may have to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird humor, though, so don't judge me. If you watch it, you're like, oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. There will be no judgment. <laughs> Okay. All right. What is the craziest fan story that you have? Craziest fan story. I think. I think it. I. I love our fans. Our, our fans from Autumn Hill. I call them our fans, but the fans from Autumn Hill are incredible. Um, I think one of the craziest stories was when we were in Fredericton after a show. This couple came up to us. We had a little meet and greet, and um, this girl was wearing an anchor tank top, and her boyfriend had actually had an anchor in the lyrics to our very first single tattooed on his back and that was like a jaw-dropping like oh my goodness or our music matters so much to people that they'll like put it on their body permanently so that was crazy so when someone has come up to you with your lyrics tattooed on them what's the first thing that goes through your head Every tattoo, I'm always like, what have you done? I don't have any tattoos. So oh. that's like a really brave thing, in my opinion, to do. And it's, but, but like immediately after, it's just total, like there are no words. It's the most flattering expression, um, I think, that there really is. And um, it really just makes you feel connected. Music has made me feel more connected to other people than anything else in my life. That's awesome. So for yeah. fans who want to find you online, where can they head to? Um, I made it really simple, It's just, except for the spelling of my name. That's incredibly <laughs> complicated. Starbucks has still not mastered it, but it's just Terea Official for awesome. all those social medias. Perfect. I totally feel you with not being able to get your name right at Starbucks. <laughs> I feel you there. <laughs> I know. I looked at your name actually on the sheet and I was like, oh. That's, yeah, that's cool. That's a new one. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you there. Thanks so much for chatting <laughs> this morning, Terea. Of course. Thank you. This was fun. It was. 